Have you recently had a knee replacement and are wondering, is there something you can do to recover faster? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how this small piece of tape can help reduce your swelling, increase your range of motion, and reduce your pain to further speed up your recovery. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Dr. Mike, and I'm a physical therapist who created this channel to help teach others that regardless of age, you can be strong and resilient. Now, as a physical therapist who sees patients literally the day after knee replacements, hip replacements, I find a common problem with each individual. The patients that can successfully manage their pain and swelling are usually the patients that have the most success with regaining back their range of motion and having a smoother recovery. Proper management of pain and swelling is essential and without it, you can be sure you're gonna have a long road of recovery. Now listen, what if I told you there was a simple method that you can use to help reduce this pain and swelling after surgery? A method that did not require you to do more exercise or did not require you to take any more pain medications? Well, I'm here to tell you there is, and this method has been researched and proven to show effectiveness in reducing pain and swelling right after knee replacement. This method is called kinesio taping. And you may have seen a lot of athletes in the Olympic games and even professional sports today wearing this. This is a cotton nylon woven fiber tape that is applied over the skin using an acrylic adhesive that stretches and still allows you to move freely without any restrictions. It is latex free and hyperallergenic so most people can use it without having any severe skin reactions. This elastic piece of tape comes in one to three inch widths and nowadays comes in a variety of brands on the market including TheraBand, Kinesio Tex, KT Pro, and Rock Tape. Now according to a randomized controlled trial by the European Journal of physical rehabilitation. This tape has been shown to improve post-operative pain, reduce swelling, and actually improve knee extension in patients when used just two weeks after surgery. Another study found that in conjunction with regular physical activity, this tape improved patients' proprioception, their balance, and overall functional performance. Now, one of the rationales behind this tape is that the tape provides a decompression effect where it actually restores normal fluid perfusion, relieves the pressure around the tissue and nerve endings, and increased circulation. As a result, this leads to a reduced perceived pain and a reduction in swelling. Now, it's important to understand that even though most people rarely have any skin reactions, there are still contraindications and precautions that people should be aware of. This includes if you have any of the followings listed below. Now this is why even though you can buy these tapes at any sporting goods these days, you always should communicate and speak with your surgeon before using this. Hey, if you wanna support me and you like what you see so far, please like and subscribe below. Now that we've gone over the benefits of Kinesio Tape and how this method can help your recovery process after knee replacement, let's go over the application. First thing to consider is cleaning the designated area and ensuring that you remove all hair to allow the adhesive to stick effectively along the skin. For most people, after knee replacement, this will not be a problem since your leg will most likely be shaved right before you go into surgery. Once the area is clean and free from hair, you will go ahead and cut two to three 16 inch strips from whatever tape that you decide to purchase. Now, there isn't a specific length to use, but you just want to make sure your tape can cover the entire knee joint. Before the application, you will start on one end of the tape and start making three to four vertical cuts that go all the way up until there is about two to three inches left of the tape. Ensure that you cut and make each end curved and smooth to prevent any peeling off effect once the tape is applied on your skin. Now go ahead and place a pillow underneath the knees so that your knee is slightly flexed during the application. Starting off with the uncut side, you will split and peel off the paper back to begin to lay the tape over the skin. It is helpful to separate each small piece so that you can have more control when you're laying the tape down on the skin. Peel the paper off the back with one hand as you use the other hand to pat it down towards the skin. Now there are many techniques out there that do specify that a stretch is needed during the application, but we're gonna keep it simple and not have you worry too much about stretching the tape. You will go ahead and do this to each small piece until the entire strip of tape is fully in contact with the skin. The adhesive side is usually activated by warm temperature. So after placing the tape on the skin, you can go ahead and rub the area to provide warmth. Once placing one strip of tape, you can go ahead and repeat this process with the the other pieces. Now, this tape is waterproof, so you can take showers and get it wet. Applications are usually good for three to five days, so it might be helpful to use this method 
once a week for the few weeks after surgery, once your pain and swelling is managed well. Now, while removing the tape, do not be alarmed because you'll get to see how effective the tape is by seeing the reabsorption of the bruising that is shown underneath the tape compared to the other sides that were not covered by the tape. The bruising will get better over time. Now, keep in mind that this tape is no miracle tape. I'm not proposing that this tape is gonna take away all your pain and all your swelling. Now, in addition to using this method, you will still be doing everything else that is recommended by your surgeon, which includes icing, taking your pain medication as prescribed by your surgeon, and elevating your knee joints so that we can reduce all the swelling. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and comment for any questions or topics you'd like for me to cover. If you wanna learn more about the best exercises that I find effective for my patients after knee replacement, go ahead and click on this video to help you get your range of motion back and get you on a smooth road to recovery. See you next time.